But I went out in the wood pile today and I found a wood spirit that has got an extremely large nose. And we're going to get straight into that on the carving bench and show you how I laid it out and kind of how I did it and then show you how it looked like after we got it done. And it was, well, it's a big nose. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to run an outline on this, just basically where I want it. We want to get a center line somewhere about here and about the center here, all the way down. That's going to be our center line. And then it looks like I may use the natural slope as much as you can for the wood, but I can see that being a fairly wide nose there. So his eyes can be right about right through there. And then his nose would be maybe something like this. We're going to go outside of the line, so we don't care how wide that line is. As long as we go on the outside of it and make that distance here to here about the same. So we'll come out just a little bit more, and we'll cut that down like that. Now the bottom of his nose is going to be right here and all the way around from here all the way around straight across. So there you have it and uh you can make the eyes slanted this way go the other way whatever you want um i think with the with the eyebrows we can bring these up from the center but we want that the same distance on each side also so we would go from the center and that's the top so that would be right there and from right there back down again like that so if we got that that's pretty good now we got plenty of room for the eyes we want to cut cut that deep around there deep up here and down just like that we don't care about in here right now so we'll go deep 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 and then we can go around remember we're going the outside of the line so it's true to the line on the outside right here okay i guess we're ready to start whittling or i mean turning it's not exactly whittling is it but anyway I get my hood down and we're going to get started
Now after I get uh, basic carving done, I might have a little bit of wood burning to do, but after I get the basic carving done on the stick, then I'll bring it outside and I get just kind of the general taper and I'll show you a little bit of what I do there. You just continue to uh, taper it down and keep it on the, on the uh, jig that I have fixed up and you kind of look at it and uh, pick it up and just look and by the eye, just kind of judge it to taper right on down to where you want it. And here we go. I got a nice little gradual visual taper all the way down and uh, I think we got it just where we want it. So See this old boy here, he needs a little super glue. So we're gonna, we're gonna apply the super glue, uh, the CA glue. I'm using a medium because I want, it to, I want it to get soaked down in the crack and go down in there. Put the first coat on there and let it let it go let it go right down in the crack. Cause we'll we'll take a sander and get that down smooth with the stick after it dries. This one uh, we'll fill this crack up a little more, and it uh, it'll just settle right down in that crack. The gases that C puts off is cyanide. Keep that in mind as you go around your stick and uh, don't forget but keep doing that until the crack until it don't soak up no more that way crack won't open up no more then after you get done lightly sand will knock it down even again so as you can see here after filling the cracks with uh, CA glue you have some cleanup to do so that's the next day, and I'm going to take the take my Dremel and a flex shaft, and I'll put a sander grinder on it. I'll go down through there, and I will trim that up, get that back in shape, and then we'll do some finish sanding on this whole thing, and then uh, we'll get a finish on it. So. Trying something new. This is a premium fast dry Verithane uh, Triple X wood stain, golden oak. I like golden oak. And I'm gonna see if the polyurethane and the stain combined will do its magic here. So I've got this all sanded and cleared to a, to a nice slick finish. And uh, I think I'm going to put a, hair, a paracord handle on this. And it's quite the looker, he is. Quite the looker. Anyway, let's get some stain on him and, and see what he looks like. He is a, he is a handsome stained critter, that's for sure. I'll make sure that the face is all stained up really, really good. And uh, with the urethane finish, I think we're gonna have to wipe it down also. So let me get, let me get some cloths and rags or something here. Okay. I have these rag cloths, supposed to be better than cloths. We'll say, we'll see about that. His hair might not show up any more than the rest of him, but this Seems like this is coming out pretty dark. 
But uh, who knows? We're going to try it and see what it looks like. So we're going to wipe it down. It gets lighter. Just, just like stain once you get it get it on uh to leaving his face quite dark but that's okay hey <laughs> well maybe uh, i don't know if it's it's not going to be a real gloss finish unless you just leave it all on there it'd be quite dark it's a little darker than an oak, sta oak stain almost getting a, a walnut finish now I'm wiping off as much as I can. It's not looking bad. I like it all right. But I'm saying you just well use stain. It looks like when I wipe it off, it looks the same as if I had used a stain. So for what it's worth, I don't think there's anything gained by using this stuff. Maybe if you just put it on and let it dry, I don't know. So we'll get this all stained and, and we will set it aside and let it dry good. And uh, I don't know, I may just leave it in that condition. It has got a urethane coat on it, so it'll protect it from the weather some. I'll wipe it down and we'll take a look. Wipe what you can off. Rag or cloth, whatever you have, paper towel looking thing here. His nose turned really dark. It's almost like it's got a walnut on it. You can see this or not. The face got quite dark and uh, some lineage on the, on the side where the hair is come in on each side. I didn't carve, didn't mean to really carve, put any detail in the back, just a little little hint of a hairline. But uh, the, the main face and the profile is what you're after. Quite a honker he's got there. Um, and uh, smiling a little bit, got his, got his mouth wide open there. And uh, anyway, let's let him dry. And let's see what he looks like after that. Uh, well, I guess that about wraps up another video. Why don't, you, why don't you take a look at this old man with the big nose? Or is that a honker? Well, you decide. Anyway, he's got dressed up in a neck scarf to match the hand, hand strap. And it's... Uh, it's about uh, it's about nose high to me, and I'm six foot tall. About the only thing left to say is, we'll see you in the next video.